Ephesians 4.30, I believe is the other scripture. Well, you can read. Let's start with 28. But let's start with 26. I like to do this. Verse 26, Ephesians. Paul's writing to the church at Ephesus. And he says, be, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Don't let the devil have any place in your life. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Everything you say needs to be edifying to others, to encourage others to keep going. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. I have been sealed by the Holy Ghost. Church of God, holiness churches, all you pastors, all you preachers, Assemblies of God, I'm not talking about your religion or your it's religion's all it is, doctrine. It's man's doctrine. If I've been sealed, you tell me who in heaven, who under the heaven, who in hell, who on earth can break the seal of Almighty God. Nobody can break it. Jesus Christ is the only one that can open that seal. And Jesus has made me a promise. He said, son, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you, but I'll be with you even until the end. He said, I'm sealing you so that the Satan can't mess with you. I'm sealing you so that the world can't mess with you. I'm sealing you so that man can't mess with you. You're my purchased possession, and I'm going to go fix a place to put you in my house, and I'm coming back to get you. And when I come back to get you, praise God, I'm taking you to where I am. And that's a promise that I have of Almighty God today. And all of these other doctrines can tell what they want to, but I'm telling you what the Word of God says. And the Word of God, hallelujah, does not lie. And I'll give you chapter and verse all the way through the Bible. He said, those that believe in me shall never perish. They're not going to perish this week. They're not going to perish next month. They're not going to perish five years ago or five years from now. If they stump their toe, hallelujah, they're still going to heaven. Why? Because he sealed us and he's given us something inside of us to let us know that we've been born again. And he wrote in the word, brother, he said, I write in this word whereby ye shall know that you are saved, and whereby ye know that you have eternal life. In First John, hallelujah, I'm telling you today that the word of God all the way through it, verse after verse after verse after verse, tells me, hallelujah, that the blood is almighty, that it's all powerful. He said, I give you power over all the enemy. He didn't say over part of the enemy. Church, you need to realize today what's inside of you. You've got the Holy Ghost inside of you if you're a blood-bought, born-again child of the King. And when the enemy comes against you uh, and you're down in the valley and it seems like all hell has come against you, rise up to the standards of God. Uh, don't try to bring him down to your standards. Uh, rise up to the standards of God. Uh, it says submit to God. Uh, and you, all you have to do is say, God, uh, I give it all to you. Uh, and it says resist the devil. Uh, and you tell the devil, listen, uh, I've been born again. Uh, I've been washed in the blood. Uh, if you got a problem with me if you want to destroy me you go talk to my elder brother Jesus you go talk to him because I've given it all to him he's got my problems he's got my cares I've given it all I laid it all at the altar resist the devil and the Bible says he has to slowly walk away the Bible says he has to flee which means he can't be in the presence. Why? Because you've risen up. You've stirred up that that's within you. You've stirred up the Holy Ghost that's within you. Paul told Timothy, stir it up. I know you got it. Your grandma had it. Your mama had it. And I remember seeing the tears when I laid my hands on you. I remember seeing the tears when I laid my hands on you. Read the Bible. Doesn't it say something like that in there? It says, I remember the tears. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Paul said, I know you got it, boy. Stare it up because I hear that you're going through some problems. I hear that you're going through some hard times. But he said, stand fast. Proclaim the gospel. He said, they're going to persecute you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to call you the devil. But you've got to realize that they did it to me. Here I am in bondage. I'm a prisoner to God. I can't get away from God. Why? Because I've sold out to him and he bought me. 
Paul said, I'm a prisoner. God bought me. God bought me, and I can't run from him. No matter where I go, the Holy Ghost is there. No matter what happens, the Holy Ghost is there. They tried to kill me, but they couldn't because the Holy Ghost was there. They tried to drown me in the sea, but they couldn't because the Holy Ghost was there. They tried to stone me to death, but they couldn't because the Holy Ghost was there. They tried to do everything. They tried to beat me to death, but they couldn't because the Holy Ghost was there. You see, Paul knew he had been sealed. He knew that he had been sealed, and he knew that there was a day coming when Christ would come to get him. But Paul, Christ had already told him, said, Paul, had already told him, said, Paul, you've got to go to Rome. I want you to witness to the people in Rome before I take you home. And Paul knew he had to go. And so he went to Rome. He didn't fear. He went to Rome, and he pro proclaimed the gospel. Even when he was sitting in the jail, the Bible says that Paul sat there and said, Listen, they're talking about me outside. They're talking about the man of God that was proclaiming Jesus Christ. He is now locked up in prison. We got him now. We got him now. We got him now. The devil thought they had Paul. Paul was sitting there and said, Yeah, but look, you out there talking about Jesus. <laughs> I've already, made, you know, even while I'm sitting in prison, you're still out there telling everybody about Jesus. So my work has been accomplished. I come to let the world know that Jesus is the answer. And Paul knew that even while he was locked up in prison, he was still spreading the gospel. And he was still writing these letters. He was writing to Timothy. He, was writing, he said, don't look at me because I've been bound. He said, you go out there and you stand steadfast. He said, you preach. You be instant in season, out of season. Don't let the world get you down. And therefore, I address all you hypocrites that have talked about me and put me down and put me down and put me down. That's okay. I praise God for you. I thank God for you. Luke 6, 23, 24, 22, 23, 24. I praise the Lord for it because I know that I know that I know that what I've got is real. And I feel sorry for those of you that don't have it. But if you want to get it, you can have it. It's free for all. God's no respecter of person. All you have to do is believe. You have to have faith and call upon the name of the Lord. I'm going to say this simple sinner's prayer. And if God's dealing with your heart right now, I want you to repeat this prayer. Bow your head and bow your heart to God. Father God, I come before you today. I have sin in my life, and I'm asking you, Father, to place my sin under the blood of Jesus. For I believe in my heart, and I'm confessing with my mouth that Jesus is the Son of God and that you raised him from the dead. This moment, I invite Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come into my heart to be my Savior, to be Lord of my life. And I'm asking you, Father, to write my name in the Lamb's book of life and seal me with the Holy Ghost of promise until the day of redemption. For I ask this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. If you said that prayer and you meant it, there's a number on the screen. Dial the number. Let us pray with you and let us rejoice with you. And those joining by radio, it's 1-800-774-5255. It's a free number. All you have to do is call it, 1-800-774-5255. I want all of you to pray for this ministry always and support us whenever you can. Remember that Jesus is the answer around the world. God bless you.